Hello guys, once again, it's Matt, and today we have another video. Thank you all the members, all the patrons, make sure to subscribe, and let's get into it, guys. We are flying out the EMX today, but I wanted to talk about the EMX that I really, really want to be added to the game. Of course, probably added as, as a premium or an event vehicle, uh, the Brazilian A1, right? We call it the A1, but it is the same as the Ghibli, right? Um, it is a very interesting aircraft already in the Italian tech tree, having a Brazilian skin on it and being a premium would be very, very cool. But it's not just that, it is a different aircraft in certain areas. It's very similar, to be honest, but the main thing that you have to learn about these two variants of the MX is that um, the Brazilian one are less NATO standardized, so it's more keen to Brazilian specifications of avionics and stuff. But the main difference is comes to the weapons and, or rather, it's just the weapons that are pretty much different. Everything else is minor things that in real life um, would make a difference, but in the game would be basically the same. The first thing is the cannon. Instead of having a Vulcan, um, it had two Defas, the 554s, right? So with the same cannon as the Mirage 2000. I personally prefer the Vulcan, but it would be cool to see the variant nonetheless having a different cannon than the Italian one. The second main difference is the air-to-air -air missile. Instead of using the A9L, uh, it could have, of course use the A9B that we used for a little bit, but then the Piranha. The Piranha is a Brazilian developed missile. It was developed to basically surpass the A9B in performance. It was made to uh, be the, the fulfilling the, the, the gap that the A9B could not uh, fulfill anymore because it was a very old missile, right? So uh, they decided to basically, or we decided to actually build a missile such as the uh, Piranha, right? In the specs of the missile, it would be somewhat between the R-73 and the Python 4. So one of the most advanced missiles in the game if it was added today. I don't know about the IRCCM of it, but it would turn at least 45 Gs um, the, according to the Brazilian sources, you know, the um, uh, center of technology of the aeronautical aeronautical engineering. I don't know how I even translate that to, to English, but still, according to the CTA, which is that um, institute here in Brazil, they claim a 45G, the 45G turn, you know, a 30 degree, something like that turn, somewhat like that. I don't remem remember exactly the number, but 45Gs. Some sources even claim 50, but I wouldn't... I believe in those sources, it's more likely than not that it's 45. Um, so it is between this R73 and a Python 4, you know, or between an R73 and R73M, or something along those lines. Um, it would have a two second burn, so the range isn't the greatest thing ever, but it has an immense amount of acceleration, which is um, 27 kilonewtons of power in two seconds. So it is a very strong missile for the size. It looks like a kind of a, an A9, between an A9 and like an AM3 or something. It's kind of a weird missile, um, but still, it is very, very cool. So that would be the two main differences, these two weapons. Of course, in the air to ground, there would be differences in uh, sensor, you know, um, the cameras and stuff, but uh, the bombs and everything else would be the same as the Italian one. The engine, everything else would be basically the same. So cannons, and instead of using the A9L, you would use the Piranha. Of course, in real life, um, there are other differences, as I said. But the main thing is that it is these two little things. Uh, of course, we even modernize it, the A1 as the A1M, uh, which would have the glass cockpit, uh, would carry even more modern missiles like the Piranha, in theory, the Piranha 1B, uh, which is a 60G missile, if I'm not mistaken, that would be comparable to something like a Python 5 or some, somewhat similar to that. It's like a late 2000s missile, so it's a very new missile. Um, so the M could actually carry that with more modern bombs and stuff. And of course, um, uh, the Dash 4, which is an HMD as well. So it would be a very deadly attacker in the higher ranks of the Italian Tech 3 if they want a premium there or an event vehicle there. Uh, but the normal A1 would already be very, very good, I think. As I said, as a premium or an event vehicle, it would be right up there in the same kind of BR that the Italian is, you know? 
uh, maybe a little bit higher because the Piranha would be a better missile slightly than the A9L, right? Not by much, I would say. It depends very much on the on the main thing, which is the IRCCM that I don't have much information on. Uh, but if it has, for example, an A9M level of IRCCM, um, in theory, because we bought some of these seekers from the US, so it might be something along those lines, we don't know. Uh, if it's some, somewhat similar to that, it would be a higher BR, like an 11.0 or something. Um, but if it's not that, it would be very similar to 10.3, 10.7, just like the normal Italian Ghibli, right? Um, and that's pretty much what it is, right? It's a Brazilian version of the Ghibli, right? It's an aircraft that was um, developed mainly by Italy, but Brazil needed an attacker and we basically modified as much as we needed an AMX to actually fulfill the role um, that the Italians were fulfilling with the AMX, right? So it was a very good aircraft because it was very cheap and um, to build and, and you know, uh, mount and assembly and everything um, and even to maintain. Until this day we use the AM A1M uh, as our main attacker and it's used uh, for example, uh, one of the latest operations that I saw the AMX being used uh, was to destroy, you know, how do you even say this in English, but uh, illegal airfields in the, in the Amazon that are used for, you know, illicit, uh, you know, contraband and stuff like that. So they are using these aircraft for bombardment uh, with guided m ammunition and it's just our main attacker basically right it's a very cool aircraft of course it's nothing crazy you know it's nothing like oh my god but um, there are some exercises that these things showed that it was a very good dog fighter as well it is very light you know uh, in some exercises it could in theory even beat in certain situations some some aircraft like the f-16 or s and, and, and everything right so it's an aircraft that in the right hands can be very deadly so with the right missiles and everything like that could be a very interesting aircraft to have um, and yeah it's already in the game but um, the Brazilian spice on it would be very very fun I think uh, as a Brazilian I think and a lot of Brazilians feels that way guiding like left left our, our country kind of unnoticed in War Thunder, which is kind of sad because, for example, Argentina is in the game. And um, Argentina is fine being in the game, but uh, with a ton and stuff. But Brazil has some interesting, unique vehicles as well and modifications of vehicles, so why not add Brazil, right? But anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one. Um, make sure to uh, leave it in the comments what would you like to see with the um, Brazilian AMX. i see you guys 